All right. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, there's my knife. Rednecks always have a knife, right? Um, so I have two Amazon accounts. I ordered this almost two and a half, three weeks ago. The first order, it couldn't ship for a week. And then when it shipped, it went to the wrong address. I have two Amazon accounts. What I don't want to do is cut myself. So, long overdue, my e collar. Hey, relax. Vader. Yes, that's the scaredy cat barking in the background. So, um, <clears throat> this guy, Tom Davison, is a dog trainer. I, I like some of the work he does. He actually does some pretty good work. Um, I've seen him act really scaredy cat one day of a dog. But, never listen, nevertheless. I got this particular e-collar. One, for two reasons. The modes... Um, it was, the brand was, um, referred to me by my breeder. She uses Dogtra. This is a Dogtra 280C. Um, the reason I waited and wanted this edition is this guy has a YouTube channel. He's got a dog training business <clears throat> called No Bad Dogs. Um, and looking at all of the reviews and looking at all of the different e-collars that are out there, one, I wanted one with a dual mode, two, I wanted one that was waterproof, not that I ever take them in the water. Um, but there was a pretty cool thing about this, right? So <clears throat> settings are from one to a hundred, general obedience training and just Attention direction is basically what you call it. You try to redirect their attention from whatever it is that's going on. If they're not paying attention to a redirect, it's not necessarily a correction. It's set between probably three and five. Five being really kind of high for just a, a, an attention direction. Direction changer, right? You want to get their attention to change directions. Um, The vibrator and the buzz mode is really pretty loud on this, which is mostly what I use, what, what I anticipate using. Um, it does have a, a, let's call it a shock mode to it. I don't know or respect anybody that actually uses that mode in high volume frequencies. I've seen toad training where the frequency of the shock, the electronic hit, if you would call it, was up at about 60. And it was interesting because first of all, if you take one of these e-collars, most all of the brands out there, put it on your wrist, put it on three or four, it's almost gonna feel like your, your, your wrist is vibrating more than you're going to feel a shock. And that's the whole point of it with the dogs. This has a boost button, which is cool, generally, if you want to turn up the, the vibration or the 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 e-collar, there's a knob you would turn it up. And now if your dog's in a distance away and they're just not responding to what you have it set up, then you would turn it up, get their attention basically for recall. This has a boost button to where um, I can have it normally set where I want to tap, tap, tap to get his attention between three and five, probably in a four mode. Tap, 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 get his attention. Get him to stop worrying about what he's worrying about. And um, for dogs that are off in the distance and you want to recall them, if the, if the tap, tap, tap's not working and you want to boost it up to six, seven, or 10, you hit the boost mode and you don't have to touch the knob, you don't have to turn it. It's just another button, you hit the boost knob and it works, right? Um, my breeder told me to get this. I tried, I did order it the day I got off the phone. However, here it is almost two and a half weeks later and I'm just not getting it. But um, the prong collar I bought did make a big difference. It wasn't a Herm Springer collar and I don't really like it that much, but it makes a difference. Um, 
Anyways, I'm going to set this up, charge it. What I also like about this thing is the this guy, Tom Davis, created this little bungee thing. So instead of buckling it around the dog's neck in a hole or making it the hole or having to create a hole because the hole's not fitting just right, um, basically this goes around the dog's neck you put it on there and then this bungee thing which is waterproof tightens it up and he's got slack with it right but it, it's a customizable fit i don't know what they were doing with these damn colors it says no bad dogs which i'm a firm believer of um and again i'm excited vaders needed this um i do need to be able to redirect him there are some things that he's doing that just a, a prong collar is not working. And uh, I was told by my breeder to get this. So I'm going to set this thing up and maybe we'll do our very first e collar thing with him in the house. And I can, I finally got this stand thing that holds my phone, but my phone is a, a, a Z Fold. It's a Galaxy Z Fold, which opens up. It's a really cool phone. But none of the things that you can buy that hold the phones, like these sticks and all that, my phone won't fit in it. Like it's barely holding on into this thing. So it, the picture looks a little cocked. Then it is what it is. Um, but I'm trying to post as much as possible.